Hello. Care of magical creatures class is just through that gate. Ah! Whoa! Um, and that must be a pixie infestation. Um, when you three have finished dealing with the pixies, care of magical creatures class is this way. It's up to you, Harry. We can explore for a bit, or follow Neville to class. Who wants to study? Pixies! Oh. E, get away from me! Can't you, like, cast spells on them? We've got a pixie infestation on our hands. What can we do to help? Just cast at the well to stir up the swarm. You'll have to work together to get rid of them. If you don't get all of the pixies on the first try, you can try again as often as you want. You'll learn a collector's card each time you can beat the swarm. If you can drive off every last pixie in the well, you'll learn all five cards in the set. But that's no easy feat. I will say about that. Like I said, for them to judge, I'm pretty sure that it's easy. Brilliant work! That prefect said we'd win all five cards in the set if we could drive all the pixies away for good. And why exactly did it say? Come on. Okay, I'm going to leave and come back. Hey, look, Will. I'm back. It actually worked this time. Come on! We really showed them. Did we? This time it works! It's not that hard, you know? It's just my stupid teammates are getting hit. Come on! Excellent spell casting, you two. So, how many cards are there in the set? Five. I'm going to check something. Yep, five. So we're going to be here dealing with pixies. We're going to deal with hippogriffs, probably. I'm not too sure, but I think I'm right. Wish my teammates would be more helpful. Because I think I'm the only one who's smart enough not to get hit. I wish they wouldn't cast the same pixie as I do as well. Would be sort of helpful. Good job, Ron. You were brilliant, Hermione. 
We were? No way! Come on! And that's the last one, I think. So, yep, it's pretty repetitive. And all you have to do is not to die. It's pretty difficult to die, really. And all of them shoot in exactly the same direction. Like that wouldn't be stupid at all. I mean, there's an awful lot of pixies, but we're, destro we're destroying the whole population of them. Is that kind of awful? The nature, you know. Yay. We did it! That's right. Fly away and good riddance. That was fantastic. We destroyed shit! Oh my god, that was so not fantastic. It's like we destroyed stuff. We're happy about each other. It's like that's not what you do. You're sad for destroying stuff. And okay, it's time to listen to the cards. Crispin Cronk, 1795 to 1872. Sent to Azkaban for continuing to keep sphinxes in his back garden despite repeated warnings. We keep on getting the same bonnet, ones, really. 1560 to 1659. Famous wizard healer. Founded St. Mungo's Hospital for Magical Maladies and Injuries. It looks weird. I mean, seriously, we keep on getting the same ones from the first and the second year. Why can't we just keep our cards? Beatrix Bloxham, 1794 to 1810. Author of the Toadstool Tales, a series of children's books since banned because they have been found to cause nausea and vomiting. Dymphna Firmage, 1612 to 1698 famously abducted by pixies while on holiday in Cornwall and lived in mortal dread of them thereafter. Failed to persuade the Ministry of Magic to have all pixies humanely destroyed when delivering the wheel. Medieval dates unknown. Alleged to have enjoyed being burnt at the stake so much that she allowed herself to be captured 47 times in various disguises. Carlotta Pinkstone, 1922 to the present. Famous campaigner for lifting the International Confederation of Wizards Statute of Secrecy and telling muggles that wizards still exist. Ms. Pinkstone has been imprisoned several times for her blatant and deliberate use of magic in public places. Gunhilda of Gorsmore, 1556 to 1639. One-eyed humpback witch famous for developing a cure for dragon pot. Hesper Starkey, 1881 to 1973, which who studied the use of phases of the moon. Bram the Bloodthirsty, medieval, dates unknown, lived in a castle on top of an enchanted beanstalk, apparently fond of eating bread made with ground bones and washed down with the blood of an Englishman, was slain by a boy named Jack. Cyclops, ancient Greece, dates unknown. A one-eyed giant who lived in a cave at the foot of Mount Etna, with the help of several sheep, was slain by the Greek hero Odysseus. Hengist of Upper Barton, 15th century giant killed by the famous giant slayer Gifford Ollerton. Goliath, biblical, dates unknown. Mercenary giant used by the Philistines in their war with the Israelites, was slain by a young boy with a slingshot. Moorholt, ancient Celtic, dates unknown. Gigantic brother of the King of Ireland, wounded Tristan, the Celtic hero, with a poisoned sword when the latter tried to kill him. 
Strela, a large orange snail with a poisonous shell that should only be handled when wearing protective gloves. I love how they're giving safety instructions now. Mountain Troll frequents mountainous regions. Very powerful, but stupid. The troll will attempt to bludgeon anyone who comes near it. Oh, look. It's my brother. Bludge. Doi! Giant purple toad. Likes dead flies and other insects. Has a long green tongue. Aww, looks cute. Double-ended mute. Can be purchased from the magical menagerie in Diagon Alley. Swims around a lot and likes algae. Where does it poop from? Guy trash. Large dog-like spirit that could be encountered in the Forbidden Forest, either singly or in groups. What? Kelpie. Lurks in rivers and streams and will kneel in invitation for anyone to ride it across. If this is attempted, the Kelpie will drag the rider underwater and attempt to poop. Cool! That's awesome. So, yeah, okay, people, thank you for watching. One, another minigame remaining. This is basically a game consisting of them. I still like the way it looks, so, ha, you're stuck with watching it. Bye.